Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is my 2023 first quarter booktube spin video. The booktube spin is a TBR game that was brought to booktube by Rick McDonnell, and he currently isn't making videos, uh, but I've been enjoying uh, participating in this uh, TBR game. I decided just to take up the reins myself and uh, doing all of uh, the parts of it. <laughs> But anyway, uh, the point of uh, the booktube spin is you come into the video with a uh, list of uh, 20 books on your TBR, uh, usually uh, divided up into four categories of five books apiece. Uh, Rick uh, would uh, spin a digital wheel and you would uh, read whatever uh, number book that uh, he landed on. And then recently he started spinning twice uh, because we're just uh, doing this once per quarter. So some people would read both books and some of us would choose one of the books. And the way that I did it is I would choose the book from the category I read from least recently because each uh, spin, I have my first category as Jewish fiction, my second is general fiction, my third is science fiction, and my fourth as fantasy. So in fact, I'm going to tweak the rules a little bit because if you can see here, these are uh, all of the booktube spins I've taken part in in the last couple of years. And uh, it's been a while <laughs> since uh, I've landed on numbers one through five in uh, Jewish fiction. And yeah, I wanna game the system and spin three times and hopefully, you know, get that category or, you know, keep things diverse here in terms of my uh, categories. Uh, so. Uh, I don't, if uh, you're watching this video to uh, play along, uh, I'm not sure how you want to proceed with this. Like if you want to read three books, two books, one book, however you want to do it, I hope uh, this won't be too much of a wrench in the system for you. <laughs> but uh, I guess hopefully it means more choices and, and more choices is more great for all of us. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, I am now going to share with you my uh, current list of 20 books. I changed out all of the books in my Jewish fiction section and also swapped out the one book in fantasy, you know, for the one that I read last quarter. Otherwise, uh, the rest of the books have been on my uh, list at least uh, once before. <laughs> uh, and yeah, after that, I will do my spins. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I am starting with Jewish fiction and uh, book number one is Strangers with the Same Dream by Alison Pick. In 1920s Palestine, a group of Jewish pioneers found a kibbutz looking for utopia, but it's not quite utopian circumstances. Number two is Not Our Kind by Kitty Zeldis. In the late 1940s, a Jewish American school teacher takes a job with a rich waspy family where she's still not quite welcome. Number three is Wild Milk Stories by Sabrina Ora Mark. It's a surreal collection between contemporary fairy tales and Jewish culture, anyway, according to the Jewish Book Council review. Number four is The Lake on Fire by Rosellen Brown. This is a 19th century Jewish immigrants leaving a failing Wisconsin farm for the tenuous dream of living the Gilded Age in Chicago. And finally, number five is Willa and Hesper by Amy Feltman. It's about an interfaith lesbian couple who breaks up and then they t turn to different cultural experiences, including Jewish ones for Willa, in an effort to heal. All right, category two is general fiction, and I'm moving on to book number six, The Logger Queen of Minnesota by J. Ryan Straddle. Its family drama ensues in the Midwest when a father leaves his inheritance entirely to one daughter. Number seven is With Teeth by Kristen Arnett a queer mother's dysfunctional relationship with her son. Number eight is What Could Be Saved by Lise O'Halloran Schwartz. It's dual timelines taking place in both Bangkok and Washington, D.C., and it follows a family with a missing child. Number nine is Nellie Dean by Allison Chase. It's Wuthering Heights fan fiction from the POV of my favorite character, which is kind of like the original, but hopefully this one is more focused on her. And finally, number 10 is Transcendent Kingdom by Yag Jesse, a neuroscience doctorate student from a Ghanaian American family, oscillates between reason and faith after the loss of her brother. Section number three is science fiction, and book number 11 is Provenance by Anne Leckie. A fugitive looks to reclaim stolen treasure in space 
and finds herself embroiled in an alien plot, literally. Number 12 is Ancestral Night by Elizabeth Baer. A routine salvage mission in space goes awry when an ancient technology is uncovered. Number 13 is Pushing Ice by Alistair Reynolds. A rockhopper crew is tasked with tailing one of Saturn's moons as it breaks orbit and leaves the solar system. Number 14 is Dark Orbit by Caroline Ives Gilman. Alien contact on a distant planet with more of a murder mystery plot than my usual, but we will go with it. And finally, number 15 is Martians Abroad by Carrie Vaughn. This is YA about a young Martian girl who dreams of spacefaring, but ends up getting sent to Earth instead. Womp womp. My fourth and final category is fantasy, and book number 16 is The Spear Cuts Through Water by Simon Jimenez. Uh, talking straight from the cover copy, this is two warriors shepherd an ancient god over a broken land to end the tyrannical rule of a royal family. Number 17 is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. A man discovers his fate is tied up with that of an empire, and he may be here not to save the world, but to destroy it. Number 18 is The Vanished Queen by Elizabeth Campbell. A woman vows to take down a despotic king and, surprise, surprise, finds herself embroiled in court politics. Number 19 is A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozloff. An orphaned princess becomes a guerrilla fighter and must assemble a group of rebels to take back the kingdom. And the final, finally, is book number 20, The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong. A young peasant girl discovers she has an unearthly power, but the war she fights for her god might cost her her humanity. Okay, and from here, I'm going to pull up a random number general from my iPad here, and apologies, I think everything's going to turn out backwards on the screen because I'm recording on my phone and I'll keep whining about it until hopefully a replacement piece for my camcorder comes next week. But anyway, starting with spin number one. Okay, lol, we start with uh, book number three, which for my purposes already uh, fits uh, the requirement I was hoping to go for, that I finally spun Jewish fiction. Uh, so book number three uh, for me is uh, Wild Milk Stories, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and still spin two more times and see what happens. So we're on to spin number two. Okay, seriously, what is this? I have gone years spinning once or twice in this game and not getting Jewish fiction, and now I've gotten two in my Jewish fiction section. My, my second spin is Willa and Hesper. Uh, but okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, spin the third time. Okay, booktube is messing with me. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I had a wheel of 20 options. I swear all 20 numbers were in there and all three of my spins were in books one through five. <laughs> so, okay. The uh, third spin for me was book number one, which is Strangers with the Same Dream. Uh, and for me, I guess uh, I'm just going to pick that one. You know, I can't play the way I intended to, but because uh, the three spins were all in the same category anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll spin. Uh, I will pick uh, Strangers with the Same Dream because uh, this is the first booktube spin video of uh, 2023. So why not? <laughs> I will be adding this book to my TBR this quarter. So that about covers it for me now. I will leave the Goodreads links for all 20 of these books listed down below in case you'd like to know more information. I'm not quite sure even how accurate some of my uh, descriptions are. But anyway, uh, I hope uh, that was fun for anybody who wants to partake in the booktube spin and that you're happy with, uh, I guess, uh, the first uh, 
category of books that you have, because all three of my spins would be in that category for you too. <laughs> And anyway, I will be back on this channel in the next few days uh, to do a wrap-up video uh, of a project I did uh, in December, an author's backlist project, where I, I read three backlist titles by the author Chippamanda Ngozi Adichie, and now I'm going to go ahead and review them and ramble on about her. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.